We've already seen what is supposed to happen when a paper document is scanned into a computer and opened in Adobe Illustrator. Now let's use Illustrator to open the PDF file of Obama's long-form birth certificate that was posted on WhiteHouse.gov on April 27th of 2011. At first glance, the document appears to have only one layer. However, a quick glance at the links palette indicates that there are many layers. Nine layers to be exact. As we turn each layer on and off, note the information each contains. As layers 1 and 2 are turned on and off, they appear to contain no information. As we will see later, nothing could be farther from the truth. Keep your eyes on box 20, 22, and the date stamp at the bottom of the page as we click layers 4, 5, and 6 on and off. Layer 7 contains the State Registrar stamp, Layer 8 most of the type, and Layer 9 the green safety paper background. Perhaps most troubling is the way the date stamp and the State Registrar stamp at the bottom of the page can be moved around the page in their entirety once they've been selected. This immediately caught the attention of Maricopa County Sheriff's investigators. You'll recall that when a paper document is scanned into a computer, we typically see an even level of noise throughout the document. So, does the PDF file released by the White House pass this test? No, it does not. As you can see as we scroll down the document, noise is not evenly distributed as it should be. Those who have attempted to defend the document's authenticity have relied primarily on two theories. One, that the document may have had optical character recognition software applied to it, or that because the document was optimized before being released to the general public, these anomalies are expected. As you will see, both theories are easily debunked.